Hi, I'm Madhuri Gumala from the Visual Studio Team Services product team. In this video, I will do a demo on setting up continuous deployment of an iOS app to the Apple App Store. We recently published a new extension to the Visual Studio Team Services marketplace. This will help us setting up the CD pipeline for the demo iOS application. The extension provides two build release tasks. These tasks use Fastlane tools which have a strong open source community and are also gaining popularity with mobile developers. Let us start by creating a new release definition. I'm going to point my release definition to a CI build I have set up for a Xamarin iOS app. This could also be an Xcode iOS build. I'm going to look for the Apple App Store release task and add it to my release definition. On this task, we have to provide the authentication mechanism to connect to the App Store. And I'm going to use the service endpoint I've previously created. All the service endpoint stores as your username and password. Provide a bundle ID for your app. And then we are going to provide the binary required to publish to the App Store. And so I'm going to pick my IPA file. The release task supports uploading the IPA to test flight for beta testing. You can also specify some notes on what to test through a file. When uploading to production, you can optionally upload metadata and screenshots. The metadata and screenshots follow a pattern which is similar to the one you're seeing on the screen. You can see that I've provided some information and there are some localized resources for Japanese and Vietnamese in addition to ENUS. If you use Fastlane, this structure will be very familiar since it is generated by Fastlane deliver init command. But you could also create the same structure manually. After selecting the metadata and screenshots and renaming my release definition, I'm going to save it and queue up a new release. When I create the release, I'm going to pick the latest CI build and queue the release. Now I can see my release has been queued and I can go to the logs to see the progress of my release. You can see the metadata is being uploaded to iTunes Connect. The screenshots are also uploaded to iTunes. And now the binary upload has started. Depending on the size of your binary, this might take a little while. After my release has succeeded, I can go to iTunes and verify that a new build was uploaded earlier today. I can also check the metadata and screenshots which were uploaded. And I can see the different locales are also available. In addition to the release task, there is a promote task that allows you to submit a build previously uploaded to iTunes Connect to the App Store for review. The code for the extension is open sourced on GitHub. Please give it a try and leave us feedback. Thank you.